I'm with Kate Dewey, the head up of Dewey and K, and you can tell me the name of... We're part of the Prenny Beard Company. That's it. Um, she's going to speak with me today about Joyce Rothamel, and I think you will have a very nice perspective to share. How long have you known Joyce? I've known Joyce for um, 30 years. Since I, she was one of the first people I met when I came to Pittsburgh in the 80s in terms of professionally. And when you met her, what did you first think? Um, I knew she was a force the first day I met her. It was just that <laughs> she does something that you know you can't say no because she's driven out of this place of passion and she has always been that uh, kind of a person. And so it just exudes from her personality and everything she talks about uh, that She's someone who is just committed to a purpose in life, and that's to make a difference to people who are tremendously in need. And so, you know, in the 80s, she was talking about this little food bank um, that I used to go volunteer at. And at that point, they were making a difference in the lives of a couple of thousand people. Clearly, it was important. Um, and she just has, despite whatever the challenges that have come up along the way, whether they're financial or change of federal policy or change of what's going on in the community, Joyce has just been diligent about finding the way to get to yes. And so today, you know, they serve 11 counties and they uh, raised, what, 24 million tons of food. I can't even conceive of how much that is. Uh, but she's all, she has always been thinking about those who don't have a voice or don't have a voice loud enough uh, to really get people's attention about their need. And so she's just been a tremendous advocate. And she's, um, she's a true 60s child, so I can identify with that. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we were kindred spirits from early on. And how does that play a role in how she approaches people? Um, I think she, it, one of the things about Joyce is that she uh, is coming from a place of the heart. And it's, uh, and because of that, I think people have gotten on board with her uh, with, without really wondering or thinking, what else is this all about? It's a very clear commitment and passion. Uh, I also think that she, because of that passion, people knew it just wasn't the flavor of the day. This is Joyce. And so when you think about who do you want to partner with or how do you want to make a difference in the community, finding someone who's a community champion about this, about any issue, but this one being hunger and, and, and families, knowing she's going to be there tomorrow makes it somebody with whom you want to partner with mm -hmm. because you know she'll be there shoulder to shoulder the next day and the day after. Um, and in Joyce's case, she's just this quiet, formidable leader that uh, makes people do the right thing, even if they hadn't thought about that walking in the door. Mm -hmm. So she's just pretty, she's a, just a phenomenal soul. She she's really a soul. She's, she's in a human body, but she is a soul. She's a spirit uh, that makes us be better. She is. Um, what, what lesson do you think we can take from her to be better? What, what do you think she wants us, would, would want us to, if she were sitting here and she had, you've known her a long time, uh -huh. what's the message that she's always trying to get out to organizations and community members and the people she meets? Well, I, I think it's really more the way she's lived her life, that we all have 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And we can live those lives, we can live those hours in any way we want. And she makes us stop and pause about our own individual legacy to the individuals who will follow us and the community that we're a part of. And, and so she makes you think about, are you using your 24 hours a day, even the way you want to, but in a way at least that will make a difference to uh, the people that, you'll, that will follow you. Mm -hmm. She's pretty special. Mm -hmm. she, is. she is. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Well, I think she also, um, one of the messages woven, I think, in Joyce's work, because she was at the Merton Center, and um, is about a peaceful community. And 
a community in which we all come together and care for one another. And she, she, I think she's always had that concept while she's landed in, you know, worrying about those that are hungry um, and in poverty. It could have taken, I think, a couple of different roads, mm -hmm. uh, but it was, it's always about creating the community that we dream of in terms of each taking care of her fellow man in a way that uh, defines us as human beings, uh, defines us as a species that um, aspires and can do something for our fellow man. And so I, th I think that is just woven into Joyce's core and no matter what she'll do, that will always be part of her. It really is. And she comes up with so many ideas and has created so many different uh, ways to reach out to the community and be part of the community. Yeah. So I, I would agree. And so whoever is next up and whatever the issue or if she stays in hunger, I just warn the people that she is coming to to look out because they won't be able to say no. So she just, she's going to continue to be a force even though she has moved on from the uh, presidency of the food bank. She is just going to be a, a force throughout her life.